One of the first videos I did when I started this channel a couple of years ago was a video on Hing or Asafoetida. That's since gone on to be the most popular video in my very modest roundup um, of very unpopular videos. <laughs> but by the way, so that leads me to say, if you watch the channel, please subscribe and like, it's very, very helpful for me. But um, I'm going back into it because I do my own editing and it's been like a learning process. Um, thanks in grace to Trav, who's, um, who works with me filming this and who's like taught me a whole lot. But back in, at that time, I was really rusty with sound. And so the music over that video is so loud and disturbing. And I get lots of comments about it, but I can't redo it. So I'm redoing the video. Okay. so. Um, Asafoetida or, or hing in Hindi is the resin of a plant, of like a, a small sort of tree. And um, it's, it's sourced from the root, so it's then dried and, and this is the resin. This is a couple of years old now. So when I bought this, um, I bought it in, in Delhi when I was back home seeing mum and dad. And when I first bought it, it was like soft, like uh, like a soft fudge, you know, or almost like a, a, a harder candle wax, somewhere in between those two textures where it was actually malleable. And then over time it actually dries out and it's fine. The dryness doesn't affect the aroma because I'll show you how we actually use it. Now I keep this in sealed Tupperware because it smells like, Ooh, yeah, when you get, I don't mind it when it's out here, but when it's here, it's very strong. It's got a pineapple aroma, kind of a blue cheesy foot aroma, a bit of onion, sulfur, like it's a very, very interesting aromatic. So the reason that my family is familiar with Hing is because we're Kashmiri Hindus and we don't use traditionally in our regional cooking, garlic or onion. And the reason for that has a faith tradition. So garlic and onion are deemed to be heating spices by Ayurvedic, um, I guess, thought. And heating spices are spices that not just in terms of traditional thinking, heat the actual physical system, but that also stimulate the spiritual system or stimulate sort of your emotive system. And uh, when it comes to our faith tradition, it's all about finding um, balance and steadiness and a really calm, uh, cool peace. Peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. So uh, in th that regard, garlic and onions are removed from the diet. Um, so you can see, you know, just in a very quick surface overview how masala looks at, um, it wraps up culture, faith, um, and food in that one package. And if you watch my videos, you'll see how we unravel that piece by piece. This is the, um, this is the powder. I was just saying to Trav, I actually match. I didn't mean to do that, but I match my, my, my spice. It's easier to, to buy in Australia. You can get this at um, Indian grocers and lots of Asian food stores. Um, it's easier to use, but it does have a harder aromatic profile, like not sort of super noticeably, but kind of super noticeably, if you know what you're looking for. Like it's more square, it's more blunt. Um, with the resin, we dissolve it in water. That's what it looks like, cloudy. Normally I would put this in a jar, seal the jar and keep it in the fridge. And then you can use this by adding this to um, your cooks in pieces as you go. Um, so just tipping little bits in and tasting. The pinch you kind of just add once and, and you wouldn't really do it again because it does impact spice more heavily just because of its structure and its form. The taste is much more prevalent. We use it to, to sort of keep food cooling. It's also considered to be a bit of a digestive, or that's how people understand it in the West. So lots of people use it in dals. I don't, that's not our tradition. Um, one of the things, um, there's a few questions I get asked around it, which is, can you use asafoetida or hing and garlic and onion in the same, um, in the same masala or in the same dish? Uh, I mean, you can do anything. It would just give this very sulfuric structured kind of powerful 
um, base body to your dish. So it could be really interesting. You'd need to moderate it with other spice. So you'd have to have some quite other strong spice and um, kind of aggressive fats in there just to work as contrast. Otherwise it would be very overwhelming and a little bit distasteful the way that eating too much onion is. Um, generally, in if a dish calls for asafoetida um, and you don't have it, um, I would use one or the other. I'd probably use onion, not both. It is a traditional spice. It very, very much speaks of Indian regional cooking in the way that mustard oil does, in the way that ajwan does, um, there, uh, in the way that kala namak does or Indian black salts. There are a small grouping of spices that to me um, are very eloquent about that food culture and, and this is definitely one of them. So yeah, just take care, but it's fun. Have a play around, why not? Oh, last thing, someone actually said to me, which I have yet to try, one of my viewers, that asafoetida and a little bit of dried chili powder on hot chips is epic. So that's my next, um, that's my next trial with this thing. But if you do it and it turns out great, leave a comment. Yeah, that's it, thanks. <laughs>